Hi guys, just another weekend for me, you know, hanging around in my straight jacket. So uh, we are extremely proud uh, to present the David Duval straight jacket. This has been two years in the making. David Duval's family, uh, Alan Taylor to be precise, came to me about two years ago and asked me if I could recreate David Duval's original straight jacket. Now, I said, sure. But we're going to need one uh, of his jackets to work with. So he very kindly lent me one of David Duval's original straight jackets, uh, which we had oh, reverse engineered. And oh, first bit done. Yes, we had that reverse engineered, and it was recreated exactly the same as his very first straight jacket. Now, if you don't know who David Duval is, when you finish watching this video, Google him. He is a legend in the world of escapology, a uh, British guy, has some amazing cell escapes, and, oh, excuse me, oh, it's always the bit that looks really funny. Uh, so yeah, he was a legend in British escapology, and uh, well, this is basically molded on his exact straight Jacket, so uh, there we go. Right, so yes, very, very proud. Coming in close, Dean. I'm going to show you this. So, this is what the straight jacket looks like. Now, one of the problems we've had, um, that always been in, in the past, um, is straight jackets only came in one size, one size fits all. So, if you're a small guy, quite often you had this really big chunky kind of loose straight jacket that just looked terrible on you so we made sure we made these in three sizes there's a small a medium and a large okay so this fits perfectly every time you're getting a nice snug one so if you're a small build you haven't got to worry about a really big sort of bulky one and if you're a big guy you haven't got to worry about one that's really tight so uh oh i had a breath now come back close again now um because uh, this was based on david Duval's. Um, straight jacket and we had his family working with us. Alan uh, took the original prototypes along some escapology conventions. Everybody looked at them, they tested them out and they made improvements where it need be, for example, here. Okay, there's leather on the uh, the back side of the straps um, uh, of the jacket, so this isn't going to rip out. That was one of the problems with some of the original ones, is that they could be, you know, wearing down after a while where maybe the rivets will go through. So that follows all the way through. Now, another thing that we're really, really proud of with these straight jackets that no one else has done to date that we know of anyway, is the gimmick area. So if you know what the gimmick area is on a straight jacket, then come on in close and have a look at this. So uh, there are two gimmick areas on here, and one is over here, and one is over here. And they are pretty much invisible to look at and to feel as well. So if a spectator was to put his arm inside here or feel around here, there is nothing to see. So this can be 100% examined. Now we are going to make another video going a bit more in depth into the, uh, the straight jacket and the sizes etc. So if you want to watch that one go across to the Pop Dog website if you're not already on there and see the other video.